Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fallen here for Sputnik Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Poshmark platform. So I've made a bunch of videos on Mercari, selling Mercari, the Mercari um, Marketplace Overlook. And I decided to start looking at a few other marketplaces that you might oftentimes not think about where you can sell things to make some passive or secondary source of income. I talked to you guys before how I believe that it's going to be very important for a lot of people, especially with a lot of craziness happening in the world. So today, like I said, I want to take a look at Poshmark. So I've heard of Poshmark before, mostly about buying and selling clothes, and I decided to sign up for an account. And I tried to make this video a few times already because I'm very, very confused about this marketplace. Of course, I've only been playing around with it for the past hour or so. And I guess if I play around with it for a little bit more, it might make a little bit more sense. But I'll talk to you about some things that don't. And if you guys have been using Poshmark or if you're a seller in Poshmark, maybe you can let me know in the comment section below. So when you first sign up for an account on Poshmark, you are greeted with their homepage. Now, you might be a little bit overwhelmed because there is all sorts of categories on it. But let's take a look at it. So on top of it, of course, you have the different categories of items being sold. Uh, you have women, uh, categories, and everything else that goes into it, from clothing to jewelry to bags, accessories, trending styles, shoes, makeup, etc., and all the different subcategories. Glasses, hats, watches, sunglasses, shorts, skirts, etc., uh, same thing happens for men. Uh, of course, it seems that there's a little bit less categories for men. Kids, home, beauty and wellness. And of course, you can search by brands and parties. So like they group things together. Um, now, if you take a look at your account, you also have my closet, my drafts, my likes, my recently viewed, my size, my bundles, my purchases, my sales, order activity, account settings, closet widget, FAQ and some settings. So the first thing that confused me when I made an account, I had a notification in my newsfeed. Well, what was it? And it is a bunch of users that started following me. And I'm like, what is going on? I haven't posted anything. I literally made an account two minutes ago. So let's take a look at one of these users. So let's take a look at Juju Scam. First of all, very strange name, at least in my opinion. Uh, hello, Judy. It's a bit of a shout out to you in this video. Judy has 665 listings, 203,000, almost 204,000 shares. She has close to 263,000 followers, and she's following uh, over 2.6 million users. Now, something tells me that Judy did not click on every single person that she follows. Um, I'm guessing that there is some sort of like third party automation is going on out here. And as you guys saw on that list, a lot of other users are doing that. Now, of course, on platforms like Amazon and eBay, there are third party tools that help you try to get a bit of advantage or help you automate your listings, help you promote your listings. Um, but I never thought that Poshmark would have that. And you guys can see, of course, this is Judy's store of everything that she is selling or not selling, apparently, because some of these items are not for sale. But let's go back. So that's the first thing that threw me off. Now, the second thing that has thrown me off, and I actually seen that a few times because I browsed Poshmark a few times before making this video, is that how sometimes items are priced. So let's take a look at an item. So this is a Wegner's Swiss Gear Red and Gray Safety Light Backpack. It looks like a nice, cool backpack. It's going for about $50, but before that, it was $0. So it's a little bit confusing of how their whole branding and marketing works, especially if you're just buying on Poshmark and saying, hey, it was $0, now it's $50. Doesn't make sense. But I'll, I think I'm starting to get a little bit on the bottom because I think some people are confused of how it works. And But we'll take a look at it. So with any listing, you might see that there's a couple of people that like the listing, that have a bit of a description for it, they have a category tag, 
uh, they have a seller discount if uh, you buy two or more items of 10% discount. Um, they talk about shipping, uh, they have a buyer protection, but that's about it. And of course, you can see the rest of their listings. They have over a thousand other things that they're selling. And that can be seen across all of these categories. But oftentimes people just not list within the category, they list outside of it. So when I was browsing the website and I decided to put in Nintendo Switch, and I was gonna say, I might see some nice t-shirts like we see right here, nice little bag. But we also see Ring Fit Adventure Nintendo Switch. It's gone for $200. We also see Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle Game. And let's click that. So it's for Nintendo Switch, it's new and sealed. Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle for Nintendo Switch, accepting reasonable offers. And of course, like any other pretty listing, they have some stock screenshots they're using to give an idea. Um, actually like that, it makes the listing look very neat and pretty, especially for a video game. Um, but, it seems to be not a category because I have not found a category for video games. Now I'll explain why people might be selling on Poshmark things that are not closed or the things that they might not have direct categories. Um, and of course this person has about 230 other listings. They're following, or they have 14, uh, almost 15,000 followers. So do keep in mind that you might find some things that are not, or you don't expect to be here. As we guys can see, there are some Pokemon games also happening. There are some 3DS bundles, all sorts of things, some DS games, but you guys can take a look at that at your own time. But let's jump into actual point of this video is that for you to make money with Poshmark. So when you bring it brought out to this homepage, you'll click on sell on Poshmark and you are brought to the item listing menu uh, or kind of the setup to create listing aspect of things. And I have no drafts right here, but I guess if you have some drafts you haven't finished that would populate over here. You can add up to 16 photos for your listing. Um, you can put a title, add a description, put a category, if it's a quantity, if you're selling multiple items of the same type, uh, the sizing, and if it's new with tags, also a brand, a color, so all sorts of filters you can add to your description. Um, but let's take a look at Poshmark fees. All fees are simple and straightforward. It's always free to list an item for sale on Poshmark. After your item sells, we deduct a small fee from the final order order price i'm sorry for sales under 15 dollars, the fee is a flat rate of 295 for sales above 15 dollars, the fee is 20 percent and you keep 80 percent i'm glad that 80 percent is for me to keep not go into the internet space what you get a free prepaid shipping label free credit card processing customer support and poshmark buyer protection Please note your earnings are based on the listing price and actual earnings will vary based on the final order price, seller discounts, and any other applicable taxes and discounts. So out here is where you would actually price an item. So let's say an original price of this item was $200. We're selling it for $100. And of course, 20% of that would be $80 when your item is sold. And I have mixed feelings about that. Um, for people who have been selling online for an extended period of time, they might have partnerships with different shipping companies, either DHL, FedEx, uh, UPS, or even USPS. I have a business account. I have some business partnerships with them over the past few years. So oftentimes when the company is providing you with a shipping label or a prepaid label, they are doing it in a very generic way. They're grouping your items in the same category. Well, oftentimes different items might not be the cheapest way to ship that item. Let's just say that you're shipping a five pound book. You can ship it via media mail. 
Now you cannot ship a five pound laptop using media mail, but if you're shipping a five pound book, it might be cheaper. Now it seems that Poshmark has some sort of a, um, a wide partnership with USPS and it might be helpful for some people who don't want to deal with kind of the nuances of shipping and figuring out what way they should ship or how they should ship it or different methods associated with it. I guess it makes it nice and simple for you to list and ship your items. Now, 20%, I guess it's not too horrible because the price of your shipping is covered within the item uh, or within that 20%. So oftentimes that might be cheaper, but there are some circumstances that I think that 20% is a little bit steep. And especially if you're selling an item for $15 or less, was it? For sales above $15. Okay, so what if it's exactly $15? I hate to nitpick, but it's just they set themselves up for it. Uh, but let's say if it's $15, it's still going to be $2.95. You're left with $12 after it. It is eating into your profit margins, especially if you're selling an item that's not very expensive. Every dollar counts. Otherwise, you're going to think that what are you doing it for? You're only making pennies on a dollar. Um, keep in mind, you still have to print the label that's ink. And then second of all, you have to tape it and package it. So that's another problem is that they're not going to be providing you with shipping materials. So the boxes, the tape, uh, any sort of uh, foam you want to put inside your item or your box, you're still responsible for it. So when you're shipping an item that's not very expensive, night might be a lot of money for you. So it's a give and a take. Like I said, it's a bit of a first opinion on Poshmark. And I'll keep you guys updated. I plan on making a few more videos on it. I definitely want to put a few listings on their website and maybe give you guys some tricks, some tips that I have acquired over it. I want to play around it with the next couple of weeks and then we'll make a couple more videos. But if you click on your name on top right corner, you're brought in with my purchases and your sales. So of course, you, if you made any purchases on the website, they will pop out here. But out here, you will be able to see all the sales that you have. Of course, I haven't made any sales on the website. Um, you have active orders your Poshmark status, your balance, and your sales and inventory reports that you can either get by email or they can be generated via their platform. It seems that if you have your sales report, you can have it emailed to you, or you can have your inventory um, report emailed to you as well. Um, that's about it, guys. This is my first opinion on Poshmark. Let me know if you guys have been selling on Poshmark before. Let me know how your experience has been like. Like I said, it's a bit of a first opinion and feedback. Um, I do think that it's strange that there is some bot activity, but I'll see you guys in the next video. If there's a different platform you want me to check out in the future, I'll definitely put it on the list and I'll see you next time.